guys. Okay. And this is the receipt of the um, brakes that I put on my car. Okay. And um, this is the car. Right. It was removed by my ex-boyfriend, uh, Esteban Diaz Rivera. Okay. Um, and he did it uh, on the 25th of April at 1 o'clock in the morning, around 1.08. So we called yesterday and they said some sent somebody, but uh, the person never got here, the police officer never got here. So they said to call today that they would say send somebody so they could do a police report. So how do you know it was him who took the brakes off your car? Because he's a mechanic and he, um, we saw him from the, uh, the window. window and he always does things like he feels things. Um, Why didn't you call the police when he was doing it? Because if I called the police, my mother, who is chronically ill, was going to have to stay two or three hours until the police get, get here, and when she gets... Well, um, if it's an active crime in progress, it's not going to take two hours. Well, the last it, time it, that it, I oh, called, it took that, 50 minutes. Yeah, well, that's... You, you probably classified it as, this is what happened. So no, it was, it was in progress. Uh, wh what was in progress? He was um, trying to get into the house, uh, and um, he... Um, was breaking the door, doing things to the door. You see the door, it's like broken. And I it's called and the police. It's like a door prime. Yes. It was a uh, force. So you physically saw him. And my mother. <coughs> taking the, the brakes off. Yes. So why am I being shown a receipt? Because they see the, the receipt that shows that I bought the brakes recently. And he put the old yeah. one. That was almost it was over six months ago. Yes, yeah. but I never used the car because I used the uh, four by four because it was snowing. Well, that's the thing. If and you just let brakes sit, they're going to deteriorate. That's not for this vehicle. Yeah. This is for you bought brakes for a uh, Toyota 4Runner. Oh, this is this is yours. I have the the um. So this this is null and void. Oh, okay. I have the the uh, receipt of the uh, of for this brake. And you can see that the brakes are old because he got um, uh, a device that uh, on a screw the screws and it goes like. Yeah, it's and called a lug nut wrench. <laughs> yes, and yeah. we saw him doing that in, uh, in, in on installing the new ones and installing the old ones because we kept the old ones. I mean, uh, it, it's hard to say your brakes got stolen because brakes. They constantly wear. Yeah. You um, know? No, the problem yeah, is that he's, he's, a, a, he's a, um, a mechanic. And uh, what I mean, I'm not a mechanic, but I know how to change brakes too. Yes, you know? I have and that, that's what I'm it. saying. Like, the second you put brakes on and you go down the road, they're worn. Yes, you but know? I never use the car because I use my matter. truck for the uh, winter time. It doesn't matter. Even if you just let the vehicle sit, the brakes are going to deteriorate. Out in the yeah. open. They're going to wear out without using the car? Yes, they deteriorate. If you yeah, just it's let it it's sit. a ceramic, so the ceramic does break away over time. But I, I guess, are, are you trying to press charges on him? Well, I have filed uh, different um, things on him uh, because he continues to violate the law. Uh, he was, I called the police one time, he wanted to beat me up. They found uh, a gun, a rifle. Um, and they found uh, marijuana and heroin and other drugs in here. Okay. They didn't arrest him. Um, they took the, the confiscated the rifle though. Okay. But they left a handgun that he has uh, that they, they couldn't find. And um, a police report was never filed. So every time he does something, I call the police and he continues to not be arrested or continues to not be processed. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know that whole scenario because I wasn't there. but. I guess my question is, are you trying to... Yeah. I'm trying to file a police report because I'm going to call my um, insurance and uh, they're going to want to have a police report because I guess they needed to um, replace the stolen uh, part. It, it's uh, just hard for me to believe that he had time to jack up the car, take the wheel off, take the caliper off, pull the brake pads, put old brake pads on, <laughs> put it all back together, then do the other side. You, you see what I'm saying? He it, can't do it in 15 minutes. It's very good. No, it's not a 15-minute job. Mommy, no I have seen him do no, that. No, no matter how good I was you are. I was his girlfriend. I have seen him do that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, he has uh, something that he bought, a uh, stolen thing, that you um, uh, uh, move around and it, it lifts up the car without mm -hmm. you having to do 
Uh, and called it Jack. <laughs> yeah, he's something like glass, and he has like that's uh, a mechanic a, tool. Yeah. Exactly. He, he had a mechanic shop up back there, mm -hmm. and um, I saw him. That's not went. illegal to own. No. No, but he bought it stolen because I was with him when okay. he was okay. buying that's it. That's stolen. another thing too. It's like how do you know it's stolen? Could because it be I stolen? was with him. It very well could be stolen, but how are you going to prove it? You can't. It's no, but I was um, an ocular witness. Okay. And the problem that is that... I don't care about the jack if it was stolen. That's yes, but I, uh, what I'm saying is that I have seen him do it in 15 oh minutes, God. taking the brakes and uh, then do the thing, because I, he doesn't have to I do it. I guess my whole thing is, when you saw him committing a crime to your vehicle, you should have called. Yes, but when I called, yes, by the time the police gets here, okay. he's gone. It's so a, he's gone now. Exactly. And, and so why should I call you? How many days now? No, it's no well, it was yesterday. When I called yesterday, yeah. no police came. They're a lot less busy during the night when we have people getting stabbed right now and shot and murdered, and I need to do a criminal mischief report on something that's not even damaged right now. Well, it's damaged because he put the old brace and, and the old brace. It's not damaged. Is it drivable? Well, it's drivable, okay, but it's not it, damaged, it doesn't not have damaged. a brake because the, the old brake is worn it's out. It's not damaged. You get what I'm saying? So, the, in, in summary, uh, uh, um, you're not going to do the police report because I didn't call and you were you didn't get here uh, when you were committing the crime. That wasn't me. It wasn't my shift. But, no, I can do a report. I think it's silly. But, and I, I honestly don't believe that he did it within, like if you <laughs> called, he would have been still here doing the job. I, I tell you, I am, he, I was his girlfriend, and I, I have seen him okay, do the break <laughs> of somebody I, in 60 minutes. I, I, like, you see these springs? He replaced the spring for me. Yeah, ma'am, like no offense, but this is an old rusted vehicle. It's going to take a lot longer than 15 minutes to break apart the rust and get the wheels off and jack it up. No. So, stop telling me no, because I know what I'm talking about. I've worked on many vehicles also. But I, I have been working. But nothing. No, it's like 35 What's your name? Uh, Solange, S.S. in Sam, Olas in Orlando, L-A-N-G-E, Martinez, N-A-R, T-I-N-E-G. Date of birth? Seven, uh, 5 171. 1971. And this is your. So you're a Corolla? Oh, 330 Electric Avenue, Rochester, New York. 1. That's fine. Oh. Is there an apartment number? No, this is a house. Okay. What's your phone number? 914 649 What's his name? Esteban Diaz Rivera, but he has two identities. He uses a fake identity that he stole. So his fake identity is uh, Steven. He's asking what what's his name? Real his name. legal okay. name. I don't okay. care about his fake name. Okay, his uh, legal name is Esteban Diaz Rivera. D S T A B A N? Uh, e S T E D A N. Riviera? Rivera. R I B. D R S. Date of birth. Um, I don't know why I can't press charges. I can't press charges. I can't press charges without a date of birth. Well, the problem is that I don't know his name. Okay. Well, well there's the problem. Some so, and found out all I'm doing is a report. I'll do a report with date of birth, and I'm going to say, once you find his date of birth, you're going to go down and add to the report, and you're going to process for the warrant. Okay? okay. Where's he live? Um, uh, he usually is here, but he moved out, and I don't know where he lives then. <laughs> What's his phone number for? No, oh, oh, this is the phone number. This is ridiculous. Five eight five. You know what you should do is just go buy another thirty dollars set of brakes and put them on no, and call no, no. squad. Yes, yeah, the problem is and that the the, 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 the thirty dollars. Um, I have uh oh. to get somebody to put it on because okay. I don't know how to put it on. You, you understand? You are not going to get paid back for this, correct? Uh, no, I'm going to report it to my insurance store. And your insurance and will your probably insurance go up because of this. That so and, your, and your insurance deductible probably minimum five hundred. No, no, it's fifty dollars minimum. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna end up paying for the brakes. Yes, but the, I have to buy the brakes and get somebody, pay somebody to uninstall it. Yeah, install the old one. I, I'm and saying and if you it. if you go to one of these like Monroe brake clinics, it's gonna cost probably like fifty five dollars to put brakes on. Just the front. It's, but, okay. That's the phone number. It's 585. Five, yeah. Five, um, 
Él dice que tiene que 